Only on Fox, one state school district passed a resolution urging the South Carolina General Assembly to repeal its ban on mask mandates. Fox Carolina's Berkeley Cromer is breaking this down for us. If even we approve of it, it is out of our hands because presently the General Assembly has the proviso in place. According to the proviso, no school district or any of its schools may use state funds to enforce mask mandates in any of its facilities this school year. We reached out to the South Carolina School Boards Association and found out they drafted a resolution all school boards could use after multiple districts requested their help. Lawrence District 56 discussed the issue at their board meeting tonight. That proviso would have to then be rolled back. We have no control over that. And we would also then be, as I understand it, district by district to determine whether it would be in the best interest of the district. To have masks. The resolution states South Carolina is among the top 10 states in the nation having the highest number of COVID-19 cases per capita, averaging 5,500 cases a day. And the number of children requiring hospitalization for COVID in the state is rising at an alarming rate. The resolution claims the proviso has become a barrier, limiting school boards and superintendents when they are considering COVID-19 safety measures for students and staff. The superintendent says the resolution asks for the ability for districts to make their own decision. It's not necessarily negating Proviso 1.108 to say that masks would automatically be reinforced. We would just have the autonomy to make a decision. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News. Now, the district says more than 37% of students have now been through at least one quarantine. And because they cannot currently enforce masks, they announced new contact tracing procedures at last night's meeting.